Hey guys, welcome back to the Easy Auto channel. Yeah, today I'm working on an oil change on this 2020, I believe, uh, service traverse. Yeah, uh, so I pick up some oil. It's a 5W30 and then like a, a Dexo one spec. I believe that's what all the GM vehicles is using. The modern one. Uh, I pick mobile one. I hope it's just like, like they say, keep your engine running like new. Not sponsor. And I pick up um, a AC Delco, a PF63. Uh, this is an OEM filter. Yeah, you can see like the GM certified logo here. Same thing, not sponsored by AC Delco. Uh, let's see. Let's check uh, how, how many miles on the car and what's the oil life. Okay, 34% left on the on the oil life. That's good. Okay. Okay, let's chuck the wheel and then start from there. Hi, right, I chuck the wheel. And then don't forget the emergency brake. Okay, it is on, that's good. Uh, and now I'll slide the jack underneath. And then... I put, a, I put a piece of 2x4 between the jack and this is like the engine subframe. Uh, I put it in the middle of, of the car. How can I tell? I use this Chevy logo. It's, it's in, in the middle of the Chevy logo. I think that's the center of the vehicle. Okay. Alright, let's find jack stand and then put it underneath. Alright, I put a jack stand right underneath like this piece right here and it's a 2x4 uh, yeah, I don't want to scratch the paint yeah I believe that's like a, the the checking point from the user manual yeah here's the catalog converter and then I'm using this piece this part right here same thing on another side yeah same thing on another side Here's the chemical converter and here's the like a uh, that bowl top shape things and have a piece of 2x4 and a jack stand. I just like a three-ton jack stand because this truck is pretty heavy. Uh, and I lift the jack just touching the subframe for extra support. Alright, so now I can throw like a, a drink pan underneath and then start like a uh, loosening of the, uh, the the drink plug. Yeah, project of the wind. It's pretty windy here today. Okay, let's find a drink block. It is right here. Yep, here's a drink block. So next to the exhaust pipe. Yeah, but like uh, before you do oil change, make sure everything's warm to touch. Yeah, you don't want to burn yourself. Uh, let's see. I believe that's a 15 millimeter. Yep, and get get your drain pan ready. So I'm gonna crack crack it loose. Just like a 15 millimeter drain plug. All right. Okay. All right. Should look great. Let me see. Alright. 
So, uh, let it drink for like five to ten minutes, I would say, at least. Okay, I will be back. Oh, the drink plug have like a, I don't know, a rubber or silicone gasket on the back. It looks good. I'm gonna reuse it. No cracks, nothing. Yep. Okay, uh, it has been like about 10 minutes. So I think it's good enough. It's just like start dripping. So let's put the drink plug back in. I clean up the oil. All right, I'm going ahead and torque this to 18 foot pound. Okay, click, it's good. I now move to the oil filter. It is right somewhere here. Right here, the blue one. All right. Ah. I'm going to use this like a oil filter wrench or socket. I don't know what it's supposed to call. Uh, to loose up the oil filter. I don't have a part number on this. Yeah, it's like I bought it like way, way, way back. All right, let's see if that works or not. Okay, it fit on there, so now it's cracking loose. And then we move. Well, also like uh, get get the drink drink plane ready. Yeah, it will make a mess here, so the similar oil will keep dripping down. Okay, okay it's turning now. All right, I need to get the, the drink pan ready. Uh. All right, let's open the hood. Okay, don't have a hydraulic strut. Hood strut was nice. Uh, yeah, I think I can get the oil filter from the top. Yeah, so for the wind, it's pretty windy today. Oh, I need to get a drink pan ready on the bottom. I think it is. Okay, let's do it. It seems like uh, the oil is like coming out from the oil filter. I I let it drink a little bit. Should I take all the filter from the bottom or from the top? Hmm. Okay, here's the old oil filter. All right, let's clean up the oil filter housing a little bit before install the new new oil filter. Okay, I think that look that looks good. Clean enough. Okay. All right, here's the new filter, and then let's get some. Uh, oil loop around the o-ring All right, now the oil filter is finger tight. Yeah, party. Ah, oh, man. Oh, 
tight. Now the now the filter's finger tight. I'm going to use the same tool. Same tool. And then just do a, a quarter turn. Alright, that's good enough. That's it. So oil new oil filter's on. And then the trim box back in. Uh, now I'm gonna clean up the mess from the oil filter. Uh, yep, let's clean up the mess. Okay, I think that's look good. Well, I'm not gonna lower the vehicle. Well, let me check up first. Let's lift up the vehicle and then we move the jack stand. I think I'm gonna lower the vehicle and then. Ah! Let's lower the vehicle slowly. This engine took about six quart of 5W30 Dexo one. It's on the oil fuel cap. Well, still nice and clean. Makes sense. Just six thousand plus miles on it. Not a whole lot. Um, okay, get a funnel. All right, that's the last quote. All right, so let's put the cap, let's put the cap back on. And then make sure I have some oil in the oil pan before I check for leaks and start the engine. Yeah, it's at the full mark right here. So it's good. Alright, let's check for leaks. Okay, the drain bolt still dry. And then, how's the look on the filter? Okay, nothing coming down. Yep, still dry, which is good. Okay, I think that's good enough. All right, so make sure I have no tool lay around the underhood area. Okay. Okay, so let's start the car. Okay, it's good. Yeah, the hood actually is open. Now I can reset the oil life. All right, I think that's it. And then check for leaks again. Yeah, it's dry, no leaks. I think that's it. Yep, uh, I did oil change on this 2020 service reverse. 
uh, yeah, I need to write down the date and then how many, what's the next date for the oil change and then what's the next mile. I'll probably do like a 5,000 mile oil change with synthetic oil. Oh, don't forget, the used oil, find an empty jug. Yeah, find an empty jug to collect the used oil and then bring it to your uh, local recycle center or like a, any like auto park shop. They take used oil. All right, so that's it for the oil change. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I right, see you in the next one. Bye.